homeowner decided that he needed to have this system retrofitted to the extreme biofilter system because every time he'd backwashed the system in the past, it would wash all of the bacteria off of the beads and would cause an ammonia spike. Also, he was backwashing the system about once a week and sometimes twice a week in order to be able to keep the water halfway clear. By putting in the new extreme biofilter system, backwashing is once a month and whenever you backwash you do not lose bacteria from your media. Also the media that is in this tank that we're using to for the extreme system, the surface area of our media is twice that of the beads that were present that are being used in the past. The return lines are being removed. notice it's sometimes a little tight to get it out but as you raise it up you'll notice the amount of trash and stuff that's the way the system is conducted this is the bead product that is presently in the system um, we're going to be removing this product and replacing it with the extreme biomedia uh, when we get to that point we'll show you how that works move the head uh, we can get to the uh, bead media that's in here. We're going to use a shop vac to suck this media out and then we're going to rinse the inside of this tank out and start replacing it with our extreme bio media. Now we have the majority of the uh, old media out of this, this filter canister. We're going to have to rinse the inside of the canister to get the rest of the loose dirt and beads and stuff out of it. And then we're going to vacuum out the rest of it with the shop vac before we put the new media in. So. Don't be afraid to use the little water to get it clean, because you're going to need to do that. Now that we've gotten all of the old media out and all the dirt and the mud and the trash out of this uh, filter, we're going to load the new biomedia in. And this is the extreme biomedia. Uh, you get it in bags similar to this according to what size filter system you have. This system will need a bag this size and a bit more but uh, you'll, you'll get to what you need for your filter system by letting us know what kind of filter you have. Okay. Back there. You'll notice the unique shape of this media. Uh, we can go into explaining that later as to why it's shaped like that, but uh, check out our video and it'll show you, tell you exactly why it's shaped that way. Uh, so it'll have some place for your bacteria to grow. that the media has been loaded into the filter. Uh, we put about uh, four cubic feet of media in this uh, filter. When we started, this, this, this uh, filter only had about one and a half to two cubic feet of media in it. So we've got about double the amount of media in here, which is gonna really increase the uh, biological filtration. Just now we need to add some water to it in order to allow the column to be pushed down into the, into the media. Uh, a little bit of water added to the to the media will allow the column to move the media around so it'll get it down all the way down into the media. Uh, we'll show you the column here in a second. And the column is uh, of different lengths according to how large your filter is. Uh, the column when it's properly installed the bottom of the column reaches to within one inch of the bottom of the tank therefore you don't have any problem with uh, build up of sludge and trash in the bottom of the tank because when you backwash it automatically starts from the bottom and pushes the dirt up to the top. So now we've got uh, water into the filter up to about three inches from the top and we've got the filter uh, head and the column set up for installation and we're going to put this column back 
you see how it's made this bottom piece is what goes all the way down to the bottom it goes about one inch from the bottom of the tank so the water when it comes out through the backwash the water spin like that to push the dirt back up out of the top so in it goes now this line that's these two lines hook up and then this line is going to become the return line but on the return line it should, at a later date we're going to install a uh, UV light in, in, the, in the return line in order to keep the water clear from getting rid of the algae but that's basically how it goes so this one goes use the coupling here hook this up and then got the coupling on this side And then we'll put the clamps around the bottom of this and tighten the clamps down so that this will stay in place. Then we'll go ahead and hook up a line that run around here back to the return. And then at a later date, we'll put a UV light in that return line. Uh, we don't have the UV light now, uh, so we'll have to put it in later. All right. Okay, now we've got the system hooked up and everything is closed up. We've got the system set in recycle to make sure we get the system primed properly. And then next we'll switch it into uh, backwash. We'll backwash the system uh, a minute or two, a couple of times to get the loose shavings of, of, of the plastic that came off of the media out of the system. And then put it into filtration mode, we'll done. Another 30 days before we have to worry about backwashing again.